Same exact situation. McCollum fires an off-balance three. Rebound goes to the Clippers. Plenty of time remains. Down by three. George to the rim. Lays it in. No whistle, but count the basket. Three seconds to play. Things on that. Number one, I've got to do a little bit more scoring at the offensive end to make up for day missing. But at the same time, be a distributor to get other guys involved. You had more pluses or more minuses on the categories. Simons misses on the three. George back the other way, dancing around the sear. Little, oh, fleet feet to the rim for Paul George. T3 is Paul George shows off the handle, the footwork, and the touch to really work to get his points. It's back to that fluid motion now for Paul George. Lob coming out of the inbound. Oh, and it goes to George. Wheels up in Portland. The next time Cantor plays defense might be the first. Well, he intends to. <laughs> he really does want to. I'm going to delay a game. Let's watch what happens if somebody kicks the ball away after the bucket. George singly covered by Jones. Rises for the 20 footer. Book it for Paul George. He has 18. And the Clippers in a teeter totter third quarter lead by one. The isolation, one dribble, create space, knock it down. And then Anthony loses it into the ready hands of Paul George. Clippers by one. Rondo dashing down the lane off the window with a kiss and a smile. Rondo with seven points, seven assists, and five rebounds. After everyone touched the ball the last trip down, George is the only one that matters on this trip. A three for Paul George. The sideline inbound for the Blazers. There's McCollum cheating off of Rondo to give extra help. Up. Both teams will go to the free throw line on a whistle. Morris to George. Spoon feed Zoo and he lays it in. It's a two-point game. Clippers needed to stop there. George down the lane, gets to the rim and lays it in. What a shot for George. He has 29. 10 segundos pro fim. Vem com a bola. Troca a marcação. CJ contra Paul George. Para infiltração. Paul George abre com Man. Mas teve uma falta ali no lance. Falta em cima de Paul. And so Paul George has a chance to give the Clippers the lead at the line. The first of which is good. We are tied. Paul advance it. Hot damn, he made them both. The Clippers lead by one. Felt different at the in those last two minutes. You guys were down six. Uh, you were drawing fouls, scoring uh, layups off of even the three that CJ McCollum made. I mean, can you describe what those last two minutes were like uh, with the ball in the hands having to take this game away from the Blazers? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the addition of Rondo, um, you know, improved our pace um, overall. But um, just through that stretch, I knew we had to play a little faster. Um, we, we had to attack um, when their defense wasn't set. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted to put pressure on them. Um, they made big shots. Um, toughest thing, you know, for a team that's that's making shots is to come down and score on. Them. So, um, you know, at that point, that was, that was my, my, my thought process was just to play faster.